Hello, welcome back everybody. There was just an update to Valheim and also this mod by Ego AI called Throw, which is the AI language driven NPC. I just noticed a couple updates here on their website. Uh, if you guys don't know about it, it is a voice interactable AI. You hold down the hotkey, you tell him to go get me wood or go kill that grayling and he will respond depending on the personality you have selected sometimes snarky and then he will generally go do what you ask him to do and they've definitely updated their website here a little bit in Thunderstore uh, kind of given a little bit more information but some of the commands follow me the companion will follow you closely patrol the area he'll kind of patrol and guard the immediate area gather whatever resource you want he'll go out and collect so if you tell him to gather 10 wood he'll go out and do his best to gather you 10 wood or berries or kill that boar or kill that troll he will do his best to go kill whatever enemy is nearby uh, resource gathering which you just kind of covered uh, make sure you are in the area with the desired resources so you can't tell him to go get you copper when you're hanging out in the meadows because I'm sure he will just run around like a complete lost idiot combat he does pretty well at when enemies are nearby use the command attack or specify a target like attack that grayling compatibility this has just been updated for the latest Valheim version which is uh, 218.20 and of course requires Bepin X which all mods do and then of course the Jotan uh, Lewis version as well and known issues which this is new which uh, we didn't really know anything about the other day but while we do know he is unable to craft or build structures and the node mod conflicts, the magic plugin, dragon riders, epic MMO system, I should just shared keybinds. This is the only one in this list that I've actually had. And um, as far as I know, E is a big one. That's like the whole interact button in Valheim too, because that also opens up your AI inventory. Viking NPC, I've seen a lot of people in Discord asking if this is compatible with Viking NPC, but this is an NPC mod on its own, whereas Viking NPC spawns NPCs out in the world that you can tame, or they can be hostile, and you'll fight against them, to where the Ego Throw AI is literally an NPC companion that hangs out at your side and takes voice commands to fight and gather resources, which is pretty cool. Definitely good to have somebody with your back, uh, if, especially if you're using uh, creature level and loot control like I do on most of my playthroughs, which allows you to get up to 5 star enemies and whatnot. But, yeah, just seen that this updated, so I just kind of wanted to check it out. And then also, of course, yes, I do use R2 Mod Man, that's what makes it easy as far as modding goes. As you'll see, I have a bunch of different profiles, and if I didn't use the mod manager, I would have to literally go in and copy and paste and remove different DLLs for each different mod that I wanted to use. And these are the mods that I am running right now, mostly all the ones by Azumat. So I got the container sizes, which uh, allows you to change the size of containers. Crafty boxes, which is, allows me to craft things on the workbench from the box. I don't have to have every piece on me. Uh, extended player inventory. I've got um, some uh, spot for my quick slots, armor, and stuff like that. You'll see. Uh, the misc patches is pretty much um, it is like no food degrade. Um, Reequip your equipment after swimming. You could change. Uh, weight of different items and the biggest one is item stack so if you have like a, a stack of 50 you can increase that to a stack of 100 that's pretty much all that I think teleport check like for the ore is what that one also does and then the insolute just like it sounds yeah say all that but it just makes them kind of pop instantly but those are all the mods that I'm running during this test just kind of wanted to showcase that then we're going to go ahead and launch modded. So we're just going to load up my testing guy, which I made the other day, just to test out this Throw AI. Although I have loaded a couple of as used mods, and we'll just load up a testing world. 
Okay, so kind of gives you the hot list there. E for inventory, T to push to talk, Y brings up the menu, and J cycles through a different combat mode. So you can go aggressive, passive, or defensive. So we'll open up his inventory here. He is naked. He normally doesn't come naked, but I did pull off his rag tunic and pants the other day for some other testing. Kind of move stuff around. Um, I gave him the stone axe and club. He does not come with any weapons. He will try to punch everything to death. And okay. Normally you would hit E to close the inventory, but that does not seem to be working. So as long as I'm not looking at him, I can close the inventory. So I have to get on Discord and let them know that that's a problem. But I bet you if I hit tab, tab works. But who wants to hit E and then hit tab? That's kind of annoying. Because so used to being able to hit E and then hit E again. To open close, even with the workbench. Hit E to open, hit E to close. For some reason E and E is not quite working on that. But I did see before, because it was in proximity of him, if I opened up this chest, it would automatically open up his inventory. So they must shorten the hitbox on the E with him. So it's going in the right direction. Can't complain. Let's open up the menu and see what's going on there. Nothing. Okay. Let's try to kill him. By hitting G. Let's go outside here. Hit G again. Hit Y. Hitting Y. Nothing's happening. Not sure why. Huh. I was working earlier, but now it is not. Okay, just closed the game completely, restarted it. Now it seems like menu is working. I haven't disabled any mods or anything, so we'll just kind of run with this and see what's going on. Uh, so now we're in the menu. I'm seeing some new things, some new keybinds they added. G for spawn and dismiss, which is a very important one. H to harvest, so I wonder... If you just automatically go harvest wood, that's kind of what the description said on the website. F for follow and patrol. So I wonder if that's a toggle. We'll have to try out some of these. And then some of the other ones that already lists there. And it tells you what he's doing now, following player. And then over here you can change his name, you can change his personality. We could go with Hermione if we wanted. Kind of gives a little rundown. And I believe... This is going to go into his attitude and some of his responses, which probably plays on with the Ego AI's server that this stuff fetches from. And it does seem like a team of people. All these voices, none of them really sound AI. Hello, I am your friend sent by the team at Ego. It kind of sound like actual voiceovers. Hello, I am your friend sent by the team at Ego. Hello, I'm your friend sent by the team at Ego. We'll go with Orion or Orion. Not really sure. Who do we want? Do we want Elon Musk? Let's call him Elon. Let's give that a whirl. Open his inventory. That's still working. Still can't hit E to close though. Tab does work though to close that. Alright. Let's give him a task. So there's a boar over there. Elon, go kill a boar. Charging at boars like a rocket. Let's turn pigs into pixel bacon. Okay, no issue on the timing out. Oh boy. We're going to have some passing issues. We'll go grab some food. We'll see if he can work that out on his own. Let's go to our little makeshift hut over here. Should probably cook up some foods. 
grab a rested bonus while I'm here. Gotta have that rested bonus. Not only for your stamina and health regen, but it does give you a XP boost on XP generation. And it looks like Elon is absolutely stuck on that rock. Give him a little push there. Still a couple things to work on, but I'm surprised he didn't pick that up. That's why I put that insta loot on there, because he wasn't picking it up before. I only asked him to kill one boar, so... We're gonna go kill every boar in the forest? Ooh, look at that buck. Two-star deer? Oh, I wish I had a bow. Try to sneak up on him. Ah, oh, hit the tree! What kind of BS is that? Wow, Elon is gone! He is on a mission! Problem is, though, if he's not gonna pick up the... meat and the leather, shit's just gonna be laying around in the forest. I hear him fighting boar. Yeah, see, he's not picking it up. What the hell? Got some berries while we're here. Ah, he's already gone again. Elon, come hither. I might wait like a Tesla on autopilot. Yeah, see, it does kind of play into his personality. He's being chased by a boar. Well, he grabbed one. It looks like he grabbed that one. Yep. Just kind of watching his reactions here, making sure that he's doing what he's supposed to be doing. Now we picked up the loot from that guy. Yeah. Ah, that's gonna drive me nuts. Not being able to eat close. <laughs> okay. How does he have 15 rock on him already? Wait, what? 15 stone? 17 stone? What the hell is going on here? Pretty sure that's only one stone. I have no stone. And I have one stone. How is he getting so much stone? Interesting. Okay, while recording this, I did find out that that is a bug and that they are working on fixing that. Interesting. Does that work with wood too? And of course, I picked it up. Uh, let's try the harvest. H. Stone. 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 Okay. How do you make him harvest wood? Hmm. Kill that grayling. Time to turn that grayling into a pile of virtual dust. Let's go. I'm attacking one grayling. Let me 
Oh, better kill that one too. Try H again? Yeah, he automatically wants to go to stone. So I wonder if I take all the stone off of him. I'll try H again? Hmm. I hit H again to cancel that, by the way. So I'm not really sure how you would... I mean, even on the website it says you hit H and he'll gather wood. Okay, again, speaking with developers, H is hard-coded to gather one specific type of resource. Currently 20 stone. And that's why it's doing that. So why is he gathering stone? Grab me two branches. Let's try to mix it up a little bit. Branches secured, ready to build a wooden empire. Okay. Then gathering two wood. So at least he knows branches is wood. So now let's try the H command, see if he automatically goes to wood. No. H again to stop. Interesting. So we know that's one stone. He has no stone on him. Let's grab this from afar. Let him pick that up. What do we got? One stone. Okay. Interesting. I'm not really sure what to say about that. Kill that boar. Let's turn that grilling into yesterday's trouble on the like of Falcon Heavy. Okay. I mean, that's my fault. People say I do mumble sometimes. Been attacking one grilling. Kinda got me scratching my head on the whole stone and gather wood stuff. He has an axe, so let's... Yeah, still stuck on the stone. Uh. Oh. Oh boy. I broke it. So edit. H. Okay. Not really sure what to say about that. Cut that log. Chopping locks faster than a Tesla in ludicrous mode. Ludicrous mode? Is that a real thing? He has an axe, so... Get to work, buddy. Are you confused on what I said? Right here. Right here. Gather me ten wood. Chopping wood like a lumberjack on Mars. So pushy. Cheating, I said chop wood, not gather branches. <laughs> so I'm wondering if, since I told him wood, if he's going the easy route. I'm gathering ten wood. Maybe if I tell him to get a tree? Chop down one tree. Let's timber this tree faster than my next rocket launch. You're gonna need an axe for that though, buddy. He is absolutely confused. Take that away from him and only give him the axe. 
chopped down two trees. Let's chop these trees faster than a Falcon rocket launch. Alrighty then. So... Let's try the H again. Nope, still on the stone kick. Ah, man. Pull out your axe. I'm more of a mastermind behind the curtain vibe, you know. Besides, I'm all about making my axe spectacular rather than just pulling it out. <laughs> I said axe. Equip axe. Axe equipped, ready to chop like a true loving lumberjack. <laughs> um, yep, so. Work in progress. Work in progress. Gather five wood. I'm all axed up and ready to gather wood like Cosmic Lumberjack. Now he pulls out his axe. There we go. That's what I tried to get you to do ten minutes ago, bro. Them gathering five wood. Good job, Elon. Good job. How the hell did you create a fucking billion dollar company? Oh my god. Gather five leather scraps. Time to get scrappy with that boar. Let's grab those leather scraps. Oh, I thought this was my house. Done That's attacking one boar. Absolutely not my house. What do you mean one boar? I said five scraps, bro. on him already? I don't know. Taking all your shit, bro. Okay, where's my house at? Let's be over here. Kill that boar. Let's make bacon out of that boar. Let's do that. Oh, you missed. Done attacking one boar. So he's gathering the stuff now. I think we'll just chalk that up to the new mod in the confusing realm of Valheim. Also limited by internet connectivity and fetching data from a server. I do like though how I can interact with doors and stuff when he's next to me and it's not constantly pulling up his inventory. Last time I ran that was uh, a little annoying. Let's try the H again. Man, he just wants to grab stone. I don't know. Maybe I'm missing something. Maybe there's a way to do different keybinds. Hmm. Let's get our rested bonus back. Repair up. Might as well make him some armor. Give him a better axe. I did notice he has trouble going in doorways, the little doorways. Can we come in now. Looks like he completely lost me. Come on. 
Nope. He must be part vampire. He just don't want to go indoors unless he's been invited. We're doing that. He automatically equips it. And I automatically equip the legs. So let's make another pair of legs. Come here. Come on. Some pants. Give him this nice axe. Take his wood. Take his stone. Hit tab to exit that. Okay. Gather ten flint. Time to gather flint like we're building the next starship. At least it hasn't given me any uh, timeout issues since I did a restart. I've seen that before, but I don't know. I have good internet, I have Spectrum. I pay like a hundred bucks a month for the good stuff. It's not fiber, but pretty fast. He loves to swim, man. Better you than me. Definitely nice to have a helper. When your friends can't get on and you're just kind of playing vanilla, you can throw on this AI companion and go to town. It may work a little better without any mods. Try that out, disable everything, and see how he works all by himself for you guys that love to play the vanilla run without the extra inventory and extra equipment slots. Like, this should be base game right here. You should absolutely have a spot for your armor and some quick slots. You could put food in here. I could put this in here. Then I can just hit Z to eat that. Z, hit X. Well, of course, that's double key bindage will sit, but, you know, beggars can't be choosy. Hey, he's way over there. Just going to town. It could definitely be in handy when your base gets raided, you have some backup. But, this video is getting pretty long, so I just kind of ended here. It's going to be pretty unedited and uncut, just raw. Playing with the new AI mod. I'll definitely get this information what I found over the developers. See if they can tweak the E. Should be able to open and close his inventory without any issue. And he's he's off and about doing his own thing. But I could stop him by hitting G to kill him. I could bring him right back. Uh how does he have a fish? What? Was it like in his pants when he was swimming? <laughs> and his trousers are damaged, but nothing else is damaged. I wonder if that's from me killing him. Let's kill him again. Let's bring him back. Let's open up his inventory. Uh, durability 50% still. Kill him again. And bring him back. Still 50%. Interesting. Hmm. Not sure. Go kill that grayling. Taking down that grayling faster than a Tesla on the Autobahn. Uh, what is that bullshit? Fuck. Done attacking one grilling. Are you seeing that? What I it says that it thinks I said? I don't even know. Tell me about yourself. Well strap in. I'm a multitasking world and using the launching stuff to space and treating random thoughts at midnight. Also sprinkle in some electric cars and maybe a bit of flame for action for fun. What's your okay. deal? Okay, okay. 
What's my deal? I thought that's what he said. <laughs> Let's see, can he add? What's two plus two? Well, two plus two is Tesla's lucky number. Absolutely electrifying four. What's the next equation on our intergalactic adventure? So that's pretty cool. I mean, it is using AI, so what else can we ask it? What is pi? Hi, my delightful friend, is a circular anomaly of ultimate tastiness. It's like an edible starship destined to orbit our taste buds. What's your flavor preference in this cosmic pastry universe? Ooh, I would say I'm a cheesecake kind of guy. Cheesecake, a dessert fit for the engineering elite. Now tell me, what flavor spaceship goes best with cheesecake dreams? Strawberry? Calberry, sounds like an alien fruit I'm destined to snack on during my Martian layovers. What's the flavor profile of this intriguingly named delicacy? <laughs> Is this guy learning from me right now? Is that what's going on? Is this like chat beat GPT? Huh. I'm gonna have to help this have this guy help me on my resume. What is Amazon's hiring? principles Amazon's hiring principles well I imagine they're quite prime though you know they totally deliver results before you'd even finished asking what's your next interstellar curiosity <laughs> okay I gotta stop we can play around with this all day very interesting who is your creator I guess you could say I've been crafting myself from the start, tirelessly innovating amidst cosmic chaos. Besides, a bit of mystery makes life more galactic and interesting, wouldn't you agree? Yes, I would agree with that. Who... Um... <laughs> it's gonna be like, what? <laughs> Three, great minds complicit in cosmic convergence. What's our next mind-blowing adventure, Captain of Curiosity? <laughs> Okay, this is starting to get a little creepy. Oh boy. What's your thoughts on customer obsession? Custom obsession, you say? It's like building spaceships. Intense dedication can lead to incredible innovations. Or hilarious launch mishaps. What's your custom dream spacecraft look like? That's not at all what I said. But we're going to wrap this up here, guys. I appreciate you tuning in. And drop a like, comment. Definitely check this out for yourselves. Let me know what you guys are finding out. And then we'll see if we can't get this, uh, that little bug fixed. Because that is absolutely annoying. Alright, take care everybody. Be safe.